Infinity is introducing automations. With automations, Infinity's flexibility is becoming even more powerful because you will be able to create your own rules to automate your workflow. You'll be able to create custom reminders, set recurring items, and make all kinds of if this and that automations. In this video, I'll show you where to find automations and how to use them. So you will find automations at the top of your board. Once you click the button, you will see three different tabs, Browse, Manage, and Usage. In Browse, you will be able to see the categories of automations that we have, like Recommended, Reminders, If This Then That, and so on. And below here, you'll be able to see all these categories with automation templates that cover many different use cases and are ready-made for you to use right away. Or you can also edit them however you like. And of course, in the middle here, you'll notice the Create Automation button, which will allow you to create your own unique automations. So let's click that and create one automation. I'm going to create a reminder. I need to name my automation first. And then I need to choose my trigger. As you can see right now, we have the triggers like attribute value changes, date arrives, every time period, button, folder created, item deleted, folder deleted, and item created. I'm going to choose date arrives trigger. So now I need to select one of my date attributes. I'll choose due date for this automation. And then I need to choose when exactly the automation will be triggered. So I will select one day before. And then I just need to choose the time when the automation will be triggered. So let's say eight o'clock. And we have set up our trigger. Now I need to add an action. So you can see we have six different actions available. Leave a comment, create a folder, create an item, move item, send notification, and update an item. So let's choose send notification. Next, I need to choose who will receive the notification. I want to be the one who receives it, so I will click select members and then choose myself. And I can also edit the text of the notification. So let's say this needs to be done today. You can even use variables in your text. So for example, we can use current date. And then let's click Save Automation. Once I do that, I immediately switch to the Manage section where all the automations you're currently using will be located. And from here, I can actually manage and edit all my existing automations. So let's say I want to add something to my reminder. I will click it. And let's say I want to make it a little bit more complex. I want to add a condition to it. So I will click Add Condition. And I will say only continue where priority is high. So I want to receive a reminder only if this is a high priority task. And then I will click Save Automation again. And that's it. My reminder is ready. Make sure to check out our Help Center to find in-depth documentation on how to use Infinity's automations as well as detailed tutorials. So have fun exploring automations. And if you still don't have an Infinity account, now is the best time to get on board. Head over to our pricing page and choose the plan that best suits your needs.